He's a sight and a sound to behold, and he's making it look easy with over 100 million views on his YouTube. Incredible hair, of course, and saxophone skills that are topping the charts, pretty much. without a musical saying. instrument? <laughs> Come on with this business with his mesmerizing dance moves and Better high moves. energy performances. Leo P has traveled the country and we are so happy he's making our New York Living Studio one of his stops. Ladies and gentlemen, Leo P, thank you Welcome. so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, this is great. Man, those moves are on fire, Holy let alone the sound, right? Holy smokes. So, as you, first of all, congratulations on everything. Thank you. We have a lot of questions, yeah. but we want to start off with the New York part of this, because we right. are a New York-based show, mm -hmm. and we love a good subway story. And that is where you, you started? Where you were discovered? Yeah, I started playing the subway all the time. Uh, basically... I wasn't making enough money at gigs, and uh, one day I was walking home from a gig, didn't make that much money, and I saw some people playing drums, and I said, can I play with you? And I made more money no. than I did on the gig. Kidding. Stop it. So I made more money getting home than I did playing the actual show, so that's why I started doing it, and then uh, people started watching videos of me and inspired people around the world. Wow. Unbelievable. Now, you go from the Union Square subway stop right. to performing <laughs> alongside uh, people with names like Beyonce, oh, and no big Dixie deal. Chicks. No big and, deal. So were they learning from you, or are you learning from them, or what was that whole experience like, really? Well, uh, that was incredible. I mean, <laughs> meeting Beyonce was magical, you know. Of course. Oh it did not disappoint, you know what I mean? Really? People, you know, it's, it's just, she has a magical presence. She was really nice. Um, actually, her daughter, Blue Ivy, was more of a fan of uh, me and my dance moves, so that's oh, kind of how she... that's how it uh, came to be. Of, yeah. I was going to ask that, okay. Okay, who's, who's while, while we're looking at this video, first of all, how did you rehearse? I mean, are you just so talented and you're with Beyonce that you're like, I'm Look just going to style here, though. Look at styling, too. Yeah, yeah, well, those, those cowboy boots, I guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bummed I didn't bring them today. Uh, yeah, we rehearsed. We had a few rehearsals. Um, it was very pro. Yeah. Um, I actually messed up the dress rehearsal. Oh, no. And I know, I was like so did, worried. Did the beehive come after you? No, no. <laughs> well, no well, they didn't know about it. Luckily. They, didn't worry, they couldn't tell. Yeah, you yeah. knew, but right. But, uh, but then, uh, you know, once the show, I was so nervous, honestly, I was like terrified. But oh. once the lights come on, it's yeah. just, it's go time. It's like yeah. acting, you know, you're just kind of in it. Right, right. So you were originally from Pittsburgh, you were saying? Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So give yeah. us a little idea of how this path evolved for you. Okay, so uh, I grew up, my dad is Italian, he plays the accordion, so I grew up playing uh, polkas with my dad. Oh, wow. So I played the clarinet, started off playing the clarinet, and then um, over time, I think my mom got me a Christmas, like a Christmas gift was a saxophone one yeah. year, and I was like, okay, this is it. Um, and then, um, yeah, I always, uh, I dreamed of living in New York, everyone's like, make it big in the big right, city, right. you know, that was like, right. you know, growing up, that was the dream. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um... I uh, got a nice scholarship to the Manhattan School of Music. Uh, Mazel. Uh, that'll yeah. help. That'll help. Exactly, Nicely exactly. Done. Moved up to the Upper West Side, lived there for four years. Uh, just really worked um, really hard and practiced as much as I could. Yeah. And then Played in the I, subway. Yeah, and then once <laughs> I started uh, making some extra money, I would play in the subway all day long. Like, because there's no cap on how much you can That's make. That's true. Right. It's just like uh, infinite overtime. Right, right. So, uh, so, yeah, so I just play there all the time, and that's how I made my living for many, many years. And then I started traveling more, touring mm -hmm. more, basically been all over the world now playing. So. Yeah. And now you're stopping here. Right. Can we talk about this thing of beauty? Yes. Do, first of all, do you it's name your instrument. saxophone? Yeah, this is Pepper. Hello, Pepper. Well, you don't How talk that you? in your pocket. You know, no. it's something, I mean, yeah. let's be honest. This is a big instrument. Is this a baritone sax? It's a baritone sax. Okay. Love it. Mm -hmm. Love it. And she looks, I said earlier, she looks like you got her from the bottom of the sea. A few miles. If you yeah. look closely, <laughs> she's like, you said the Statue of Liberty. It's beautiful. She's, she's weathered. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, it definitely has these uh, little green spots that are similar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's been through a lot. We've been through a lot together. You know? <laughs> I'm sure. But yeah, I'm sure you get attached like that. Yeah, Obviously, exactly. Right? Well, it's, wouldn't. I probably could kind of fix her up, but no. I, I kind of like it. I like it. character. You know? I like she it. Has character. It's, like, it's like my old friend. You on, know? Top of the, on top of the ability to play this instrument and have this love affair, you know, the moves. How do you, I mean, yes. you're, you're dancing your everything off there mm -hmm. while playing the sax. 
how do you get yourself in respiratory shape, so to speak, or aerobic shape to do He's that? He's also a marathon runner. Well, Apparently. I do. I do work out every day, no matter what. It's just my rule. I'm, I'm just the kind of person that has always had a lot of energy, crazy yeah. amounts of energy. So if I don't work out, I'm going to be like crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be a little terrifying if I don't work out. Oh, so I nice. need to go work out every day, and it helps me keep stay in shape. And just I just look at it as part of my job, right. you know. Mm -hmm. It's going to the, the gym thing, yeah. and, and running. And, uh, look at that. It's unbelievable. Love the moves. Love the so, moves. also, congrats on your first yes, debut congrats. album. Thanks, thanks. Solo album great. coming up, Aces. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, it has dropped. Yes, yes. Fantastic. You, you can find it basically anywhere on streaming services or Amazon. You can buy a hard copy. Any different for you as opposed to the albums you've done with a band before or this being kind of yeah, a, well, a solo this project? Is, for you? Yeah, this is the first time that I've had a uh, complete, like, artistic say in mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anytime you collaborate with someone... Um, Give and take. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The products... Um, I've made a lot of great products with other people, but it's never really been uniquely my vision. Mm -hmm. And now this is all of you. Be sure to grab your copy of Coming Up Aces by the man himself. Can you give us a I little... I think we need a little something here on song? the way out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Let's see if I put my dance moves on. <laughs> Thank you. 